Hey y'all, it's Brooke and I am back with another random video because this is my channel and that's what I can do. So today I want to talk about Square Capital. Um, I'm going to just do my own personal review on it. I don't know if anybody else has got it or whatever, but I noticed that there are not a lot of videos out there uh, with people talking about it. It's more people talking about um, PayPal whatever it's called. I can't remember, but, um, I do most of my transactions through square. So I'm a, and I have had, um, a square capital loan. So I'm gonna do a review on that. So, um, from what I know and from the research that I have done in order to be, uh, eligible for a square capital loan, you have to have, been using Square for at least a year, and then you have to have um, processed at least $20,000 worth of credit cards or debit cards or whatever. So um, I didn't even know that I had done that. Um, um, they sent me an email and said that I was eligible for a loan. Um, my first loan, which might be a little bit too much information, but hey, whatever. My first loan was, I think, $1,400. Um, they pretty much will, it was a loan for up to $1,400. So they send you out the email saying, hey, you know, you've you've established a good um, reputation with us. Um, do you want a loan? Pretty much. And um, they will, it'll say up to $1,400. So they'll give you, I think, like three choices. You can do $1,400, um, something less than that, and then something even lesser than that. And of course, you know, I got the whole $1,400 because at the time... Um, I was having some difficulties and I needed it. So I got the whole 1400. The way that you pay the loan back is um you it's not it's, okay. My bad, y'all. <laughs> the way you pay it back is every time you process a payment, um a certain amount of that payment is um kept by square capital pretty much so as long as you're you know you're still doing business and you're still processing credit card payments they're going to get their money back so this is to me it's um way better than a traditional bank loan which i don't qualify for so whatever but um in in any of those other like cabbage and stuff like that any of those is better because they're going to get their money back you don't really have control over it so you don't have to worry about missing a payment or being late on a payment or anything like that and what i like like about Square Capital as versus um, PayPal is, which I'm guessing will be the same thing, but um, they take it per payment. So it's not like, you know, with PayPal, um, if you don't make a sale for a couple of days, when you make that next sale, they're going to take all that money from those couple of days that you didn't make sales. So if you make a $20 payment and then what you owe PayPal is that $20, they're going to take that whole $20. As opposed to Square, they're only going to take, which I'm thinking is 18.75% of whatever um, credit cards that you process for that day. Um, so to me, that's better because, um, I still have money to pay the bills. I still have money to do whatever else I need with, and I can just pay it back over time. I think it has to be paid within 18 months. So, um, right now business is pretty, uh, steady for me. So, um, I got that loan paid off, I think in five. I think in about five, well, no, I didn't get it paid off because what Square does and which most credit card companies and loan people do is they offered me another loan once I got that one paid down 75% and they'll keep up with it. Um, it'll be in your app or whatever. You can just go to Square Capital and they'll show you, you know, how much you paid back on what days did and what they took on those days and all that stuff and the percentage that you're at. And so once I hit no, I think I hit 70%. Once I hit 70%, they offered me another loan. And that loan was for $1,900. And then it was for something less and then something even lesser than that. Which each of those options, though, it was um, for something to pay off the original loan. So whatever amount of that loan, they were going to take the first um, amount, which was $400 for me and use it to pay off the previous loan. And then you get whatever's left of that money. So, um, to me, um, my personal credit is not a uh, stellar at all. I'm working on that though, but it's not good. Um, I did a business video probably about two years ago. And, and, and you know, if anybody watched it, if you're watching this, this it's the same 
it's about the same. It's a little better, but it's pretty much about the same. So I don't qualify for bank loans. I don't qualify for uh, business loans where they're like, you need to have a certain amount of capital or a certain amount of revenue every month or whatever. Um, so to me, um, I love Square Capital. Both times that they came through with the email saying, hey, you um, qualify for another loan or a loan, uh, it was like much needed. It came through right on time. Um, don't get me wrong. I don't have nothing against PayPal. Um, I like them too, but their terms are a little bit more stricter and their terms are a little... Um, I ain't gonna say off, but it's just like, and I'm not gonna say if they offer me one, I won't take it because that's just absolutely not true. Um, most of my PayPal um, payments come from eBay. So, um, because I have a, a eBay business that I do part-time at home as well, apart from the salon. So, um, if they do offer it, I probably would take it, but um, I, um, I really don't know because my eBay sales are not as steady as I would like for them to be um, just yet. And I, I just started this business in August, the eBay business in August. So that is not as steady as I would like for it to be. Um, and I know that if they were to give me one right now, they are going to take everything that I make because I don't make sales on eBay every day. Um, I probably right now am making about five to six sales a week. Um, on eBay and all together those sales probably add up to about 70 to $80. So um, I wouldn't know but um, To me square capital is is a, a really good thing that they're doing. I love it me personally I love it because I don't have to worry about late payments I don't have to worry about what day is the payment due I got enough of that going on with the other bills and overhead that I have going on with my salon so um if you have any questions because i'm sure i did not cover everything in this video but this video is uh right at seven minutes at this point and um, i'm trying my best not to put out extra over long drawn out videos but if you have any questions put them down in the comment box and i will add, uh, try my best to get them answered um if you have questions and you feel like you want me to to do another video and elaborate more on it put that down there too because i don't you know like i said i'm, I'm gonna start being a little bit more consistent with my channel y'all um i noticed that uh i had a lot of questions concerning the business credit on that video that i did so i'm gonna do another video on that that. Um, I haven't really been working on my business credit lately, but some people have some questions. And um, if you want videos on marketing, um, what I do to market, how you can grow your Instagram, how you can grow your business, period, um, put them down below and I'll answer them. Let me know if y'all want some more videos about that and I'll put them up there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Ignore my little natural puff. <laughs> And I will see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.